Hi, I'm Dr. Bongiwe Kisi from the African Union Medical and Health Services. This is a short demonstration from the African Union on how to maintain proper hand hygiene. And as you know, regular and proper hand hygiene has been identified as one of the key pillars in preventing COVID-19 infection spread from one person to another. Ms. Yama Strach Ababao, an infection prevention and control practitioner, will now demonstrate the use of a twist tap and a wash basin. If you have a lift head tap, you can use your elbow to open and close it. Let us begin. Whether you're using a tap or basin, wet hands with either cold or warm water. If you're using a running tap, remember to close it to avoid wastage. The next step is to apply enough soap to hand surfaces and begin to rub the hands palm to palm for at least 30 seconds. For choice of soap, you can either use liquid or a bar soap. Here's a demonstration on the proper way to rub your hands. Start with rubbing your right palm over left back of hand with interlaced fingers. Interchange the hands and repeat the same process. Now rub palm to palm with fingers interlaced. Then rub the backs of fingers to opposite palms with fingers interlocked and exchange. The next step is to rotationally rub the left thumb clasped in the right palm and do the same for the right thumb. And the last step is to rotationally rub clasped fingers of the right hand in left palm and vice versa. You can now proceed to rinse your hands. If you're using a tap, reopen the tap. Remember to first rinse the top of the tap. Then proceed to rinse your hands thoroughly. To close the tap, use a single-use towel or paper to turn off the water tap. Throw away the tissue in a bin. Use a single paper towel to dry your hands. If there's no single-use towel, let your hands air dry. Congratulations, your hands are now clean. Be careful not to touch the bin or door handles as you leave the room. Remember, hand hygiene alone cannot protect you against COVID-19. You have to practice the other prevention measures like physical distancing, cover your mouth when you cough or sneeze with a flexed elbow or tissue, use face masks where appropriate, and don't touch animals or sick people without adequate protection. It is recommended that one performs the hand hygiene after touching surfaces of objects commonly touched or used by other people, like handrails, doorknobs, shared computers, and if you accidentally shake hands. When practiced consistently and correctly, hand hygiene helps to prevent the spread of many diseases like diarrhea, cholera, and respiratory infections like the common cold and flu that can be acquired when someone touches their eyes, nose, and mouth with contaminated hands. Hand hygiene helps us prevent the spread of COVID-19 infection. So please, encourage your friends, family, and colleagues to do the same.